Hi, y'all. Are you getting ready to smoke some meat on your pellet smoker? Do you have the right pellets to make the best smoked meat? So in this video, I am gonna compare a lot of the different smoker pellets that you can use in your pellet smoker. We look at different types of smoker pellets to help you find the perfect one for your smoker. Pellet smokers are the most popular types of smokers that are available on the market today. And for good reason, they're simple to use, easy to clean and produce delicious foods. In this video, we're gonna help you find the best pellets to go with your smokers so you can make the most enjoyable cooking experience. Okay, in my video today, we're gonna to be comparing the Pit Boss. And on this one, we have their all natural Freedom Blend. Then we have the Traeger. And the Traeger, this is their signature blend. Then we have the B&B, &B, and on the B&B, &B, we have the Cherry, Bear Mountain. And the Bear Mountain, we have the Pecan. And then we have the Lumberjack. And on the Lumberjack, we have the Competition Blend. And then lastly, we have the Cooking Pellets. And on this one, we're using their Perfect Mix, which is a good combination for a lot of different meat. Hi y'all, Don here with Southern Backyard Cooking. If you're enjoying my video and would like to help me, give me those big thumbs up. That helps me more than anything. And if you'd like to get your name mentioned or displayed on one of my videos, click the link down below and become a Patron member. This allows you to receive extra benefits. When I'm looking at all these pellets, I'm looking for four things that I look to make a great pellet. Our first thing we're gonna look at is the quality of them. We want 100% natural wood. We don't want any bark or any kind of fillers like that. Some of the things that like the Traeger puts in, they add oils to keep it as a binder and give some of the flavor. To me, that's not a great thing. While burning these, we really want the smoke to come out as a blue smoke almost clear, we do not want a gray smoke. So in my use of all these particular ones, my favorite of all these, of course, is the Lumberjack. It produces the quality I think of this is really, really good. My second choice, Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain overall is a really good one. My least favorite is the Pit Boss and the Traeger. The Pit Boss, why I don't like it is I get a lot of ash from the Pit Boss as well as the Traeger. And the ash means when it burns up, there's a lot of these little particles that are hanging around. And even before I smoke with it, when I run it through my sifter, I see a lot of ash in there, okay? So some of the things we wanna make sure we do with all of our pellets is store them in an airtight bag or uh, like I have here from Oklahoma Joe's, an airtight bucket. This prevents the moisture from getting to the pellets and making them break down and giving us a lot of ash. And in some cases, it breaks it all the way down to where it's just gunk, and that'll clog our auger up. Consistency and heat. When I cook and use all these, I'm looking at, does it stay at the temperature that I want or that my pellet smoker actually produces. So when I'm looking at all these, the Lumberjack, again, to me is the, one of the best ones, as well as the Bear Mountain. I really like the cooking pellets also, best pellets for smoke flavor. Of all the ones, the two that I really like the most is the Lumberjack, I really like the Bear Mountain, and I really like the cooking pellets. All three of these produce a great bark on whatever piece of meat we are cooking with. My least desirable, of course, is the Pit Boss, the Traeger, and the B&B. &B. To me, of the three, the Traeger produces less of a good bark than any of them, but none of the three really produce a really good bark. Cost and availability. Pit Boss. Of all these, probably the cheapest. You can get it 
for a 20 pound bag for about $9 and you can get it most anywhere. Bear Mountain, about $10. And again, can get it most anywhere. B&B, &B, about $10. A lot of places have the B&B. &B. Then we get into the more expensive ones, the Traeger. The Traeger is $20 for a 20 pound bag. That doesn't seem too bad, but it's double these. And personally, it doesn't produce like it should. Then we get into the two that I had to order. That's the cooking pellets and the lumberjack. The lumberjack is again about $20 for a 20 pound bag. The cooking pellets, I usually buy 40 pound bags and I usually buy two at the same time. I can get a cooking pellet for $35 for a 40 pound bag. Both of these do real well. So when I'm looking at the best value for the money, even though we have different ranges, anywhere from nine to $35, the best value for the money, of course, to me is the Bear Mountain. At $10 for a 20 pound bag, it's readily available most anywhere you go, and it produces a great bark, as well as produces and maintains a great temperature. It doesn't produce an, an excess amount of ash when cooking or even right out of the bag, a lot of extra dust. My best bet that I can give you today, go watch my video about the 10 mistakes that you can make on a pellet smoker. It will help you solve a lot of problems if you just don't do those mistakes. Until next time, y'all have a great one.